first impressions of Northampton may appear bleak. In fact, Charles Dickens' Bleak House was based on the local Rockingham Castle. This 400-foot needle of concrete is the National Lift Tower and a listed building. However, amongst this untidy sprawl of rubble next to the M1, there have been a number of hidden gems. Maybe it should be called the Royal Borough of Northampton, as it is full of castles and stately homes. Richard III was born here, Charles I was prisoned here, and the most famous person of the 20th century is buried here, Princess Diana. Even the Americans are thankful to Northampton. Benjamin Franklin's mother and father were born in Exeter. Nowadays, Northampton has its own celebrities in Alan Chattyman Carr or Matt Doctor Who Smith, young and quirky Northamptonites. This is Jeff. He wasn't born in Northampton, but he'll die here. He was born 50 years ago in Birmingham. In fact, today is his 50th birthday. Jeff and his mother have lived in and around the villages of Northampton for all of his life. Scaldwell has been particularly accommodating. She did everything for me, my mum. Everything I know has come from her. I've lived in a shadow for 50 years now. Jeff has never met his dad, learned to drive, or even been to school. Rare by today's standards, he has never been on a plane or owned a mobile phone, and is still a virgin. His life has only five shades of grey. Jeff's father beat his teenage mother, so she ran away when she was pregnant with Jeff, initially to Wolverhampton, to a woman's refuge. Within days, he had tracked her down, and she was only able to escape when the police arrested him for smashing her face in. From then on, she went incognito. She trusted no one and lived off the streets. In time, she arrived here in Northampton, moving from village to village, living off the pity and the guilt of the villagers. It's her popularity that has kept us alive to this day. It's like with the village pets. We wake up most mornings and people have left us uh, something by our bench, from a cup of tea to a pair of shoes or a warm blanket. Once someone even left us a kitten. 1983, Jeff met Dave, a local guitarist. They got on really well and wrote a song together called The Blue-Eyed Beggar and the Teenage Captain. One night, Dave's band was playing at the Roadmender and Jeff got up and sang that song, and for five minutes he was a rock star. He was a natural, and Dave asked him to join the band. But his mother put a stop to that idea when she nearly killed Dave when they both came back drunk. This is Alice, and every day she picks up their shopping list and shops for them. Every day, Jeff dresses up as the five-minute rock star. And every night, he still dreams of what would have happened if he and Dave were still in the band. Mother said 